Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. All right, guys, so we've talked about Babe Ruth's swing. We've looked at it, but this is pretty cool right here. I got a little split screen. Number three and number four, two pretty good players for the New York Yankees. We've got Babe Ruth and we got Lou Gehrig. And I want to talk about or show you some of the similarities. We've talked in the Babe Ruth video about how a lot of people talk about, you know, would Babe Ruth swing work in today's game? We talked about why, you know, some of the things that he did were needed during his time. And if he had played in today's game, I'm sure he would have made some slight adjustments and still been a great hitter. Well, I've got Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig swing synced up right here, and we're going to take a look at him. I'm going to play it a couple of times because, again, when you look at players from certain errors, you see certain movements, yet the core principles almost always remain the same. And so we're going to show a couple here, and then we'll also... I'll kind of scroll through it here in a second. We'll do some slow-mos. So although you see some stylistic differences again, the really, really interesting thing is you're going to see a very similar bat tip, right? So a very similar bat tip where the bat is tipped towards the opposite batter's box, right? So the barrel starts to go that running start that we talked about when we looked at Babe Ruth's swing earlier. You've got players using these big, heavy bats, right? And so trying to get them started, get them started so that now I can essentially unweight them a little bit. Now the barrel starts to work back as my rear leg, as that back leg is about to start to turn. I mean, how cool is this? And how interesting is that? Now, Gary does, he drops his hands a little bit lower, right? And, and Babe Ruth pumps his hands a little bit too, but Gary has a little bit more of, you know, these arms kind of going down and then back up. But when they're both about to launch their swing, right? So when they're both about to turn that back leg, they're almost in identical positions, right? Almost in identical positions. And if you think about today's game, you're going to see hitters that just kind of start a little bit closer to this position, right? They don't have to do as much because bats are lighter. Pitchers are throwing a little bit harder with better breaking stuff. And so they've simplified some of the movements. But the core principles, again, almost always remain the same, no matter the generation, no matter what player you look at, if you're looking at elite players. And so here starts the turn right here. And you can see again, as both players' back leg starts to turn, you see the barrel starting to work back and around. You can really see Gehrig's leg turning this way and his upper body working back. I mean, that's pretty cool. So we won't go into all the core principles again. If you want to check out our Babe Ruth video that I threw up, we talk a little bit more about those core principles. Um, but, the, but again, this was just, I just wanted to show you how interesting it is. The two of the greatest hitters of all time. Really similar in the ways that they prepare to hit. Right, a little bit less, you know, you look at Gehrig, a little bit less of a coil, right? Ba Babe had that, like, that really big coil, that turn the back pocket, like, really, really far. He had a little bit more feet even closer together, had this kind of leading with the, the back pocket even more than Gehrig did. Gehrig had the bigger pump of the hands. Both bats are tipped almost in the exact same manner. Babe had that kind of lead shoulder down and in just a little bit more. But once you get to about right here, 
looks really, really similar. So let me know what you think. What do you think of both of these swings? What sticks out to you? I'm trying to grab as many clips of hitters from all different eras. Um, but these have been kind of circulating the internet lately, so wanted to throw these both up here. So again, in the comment section below, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we will talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're going to show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.